from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Here are some of the big stories we're following. Tuesday looks to be the big day for the recreational marijuana bill. Lawmakers passed the measure in last week's special session and Governor Lamont vowed to sign it. I will sign it. I think we're planning on tomorrow. People have been working on this for about 10 years. It's been a long time coming. I think we have a good bill that puts public health first and I want people who worked on it to be there with me. We're waiting for more information on specifics for the bill signing. We will be there when it happens and have complete coverage on air and online. American Airlines canceled hundreds of flights through mid-July, saying a labor shortage is partly to blame. We found a few passengers at Bradley who showed up only to learn they'd been bumped. So they changed my flight from here to LaGuardia last minute without, I didn't get an email or anything saying anything. So I checked in last night. And then this morning I double checked everything and it said I'm flying out of LaGuardia and not, not Bradley. American tells us they are working to alert passengers with as much advance notice as possible. Well, it is officially Travelers Championship Week and fresh off the U.S. Open, some of golf's biggest names are making their way to Connecticut. And when the tournament tees off later this week, there's going to be some big changes. This year, the tournament scrapped concerts, dozens of special events and interactive experiences, including the fan zone. The tournament will allow less than 10,000 fans per day on the grounds. Also different this year, if you want to go, you will need to have tickets ahead of time. No tickets are available at the gate. And we can tell you Sunday is is already sold out, but at last check, tickets were available for the other days. All right, in advance of a cold front, there's the threat for some uh, evening thunderstorms after sunset, but they should dissipate as we head through the overnight hours. Temperatures bottom out between 65 and 70, with areas of fog developing by Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon features a lot of cloud cover, highs in the mid and upper 70s, with a chance for scattered showers, perhaps an isolated thunderstorm, no severe weather. Then in the wake of a cold front, less humid, Brighter skies on tap for Wednesday, Thursday. Highs upper 70s, low 80s. Morning lows back in the 50s. Humidity starts to increase by Friday, and it's around for the weekend with a chance for some isolated thunderstorms by Sunday.